Okay, so we're here with Miko Sivanen uh, from Coiniverse. And um, Miko, you're going to send us, uh, you're going to tell us a little bit about Coiniverse, the app, how it works. Um, so first of all, can you tell me a little bit about your role and how how the app kind of came about? You started? Yeah, yeah if, if I start about kind of the, a little bit of history of the application it, it, itself, mm. really, it, it's it's kind of, we in Mint of Finland have been studying different digital concepts for for three or four years back now, and, and one one of the things that really came up was that that the coins coins has lots of content and, and it's like really interesting stories and information uh, around them, and, and there still is no kind of kind of application or, or real good service to to present this type of information mm -hmm. and and that's when we kind of decided to take the collecting to the digital age and launch an application where people could easily find the information from coins and and kind of scan their coins and, and get easily easily to that kind of the big big thing big thing behind behind the stories stories that, that the coins carry so that's kind of that's got was kind of the launch, launching launching point point for the whole service and the service was launched around one year ago in the world money money fair in in mm -hmm. 2021 so we've been around about a year now and it seems that collectors have been picking us up quite nice nicely it was mm -hmm. a little bit slower slower in the beginning but we have now over 40,000 persistent users and, and and we're still growing quite rapidly so it's it's really interesting to see that that they are they are kind of finding finding our work interesting and helping their 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 hobby hobby and, and collecting collecting um, Excellent. efforts okay uh, and and kind of i i joined i joined mint of finland coiniverse now last, last summer just just kind of it was halfway halfway through the through the first year's journey and kind of now now been been listening to the users and, and community and, and getting development ideas and, and 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 we're still in kind of heavy heavy development phase phase in that sense that we're adding new functions all, all the time and, and getting getting new features out and now just before before christmas we actually launched version 2.0 of the of the service so we introduced social features and that was kind of the heart in that application. We have developed, listened to the user community all the time and, and got some ideas and, and what they would like to have and, and been implementing those. And the social side has been one of the things that have been asked. And, and, and now we yeah. have kind of in the beginning of, of that, bringing all of the social interaction to the collecting. And, and I think application is a great way to, to also enhance that. And, and and provide provide kind of platform to to have have this interaction between users okay so for, for someone that's completely new they haven't seen the app before it's free isn't it to download um to yeah, your phone it's, or... it's it's completely free free and, and no no annoying ads popping out so it's it's in that, okay. that was nice user experience as well excellent and so so if a coin collector um anyone watching this decides to download it what what does it kind of offer them what, what can they do as soon as they get the app all right so first of all it's it's available on, on android and, and ios so mm -hmm. those those both platforms are are supported and and really kind of the hardest is, is the amount of coins and, and the possibility to kind of start digitalizing your own own collection so so basically the idea is that you can have the digital twin of your collection always with you so you can check check what you have and, and, yeah. and kind of brag, brag about it also when you don't have the actual coins with you <laughs> yeah. so so that's that that's kind of the kind of the main thing really so you can create create different type of collections and 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 and, and also also activate some some ready templates if if you want to start collecting for example two two euros commemorative yeah. coins and so so you can kind of have ready ready template and, and start marking which ones you have and kind of we also reward with with good achievements with different uh, batches so so that's kind of interesting one so you can always uh, collect also also this type of 
of achievements in, in that sense. Excellent. And and I think one of the core features has been, and, and it's quite widely used as well, is the scanning function. So if you happen to stumble upon a point, so you just scan it with your phone's camera and the application tells you what coin, coin it is, and, and then you can add it to, directly to your collection if you if you actually wow. have that uh, available. So it's quite quite neat. And I think that's also for the newer users quite interesting yeah. to kind of just see, is this coin maybe first something or or what what yeah. is this about really and where where is it from so that's that's kind of an interesting interesting that's one. really great that's fantastic okay and and would you say the app is is mainly for collectors who specialize in modern coins you know like the, the euro the two euro coins or or is it is it oh is it open to collectors who might collect you know coins from last century or even further back in time we do we do carry a little bit less than eighty thousand coins coins at, at the wow. moment the database so there are also more more kind of older older ones available but i i have to say kind of the main main ones are from from now now the recent recent and the and the kind of circulation coins coins and then yeah. coins from from like 1900s 1800s 1900s and and, and like the recent, more recent ones but i was just checking yesterday so we we do have also roman empire coins available and and, and so on so there are lots of lots of things and then we're we're expanding the, the database all the time and, and also also if you are missing something so so users can can send their coin information and we we try to add add also those coins to the database for everyone to enjoy so that's Excellent. that's kind of that's kind of the idea to have the most most uh, white coin database available in, in 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 the world. So that's and that's what we're building together with all, also our member means. So that's yes. that's a good source for the for the coin information and, and that what we are especially this year concentrating on getting getting more coins and, and, and making service that way more more fun for everyone. Yeah. Okay. I was going to ask about the the mints that are involved in Coiniverse because there's a growing number. So what do they what do they kind of add to the to the app for for users? Is it just a selection of of the coins that they're offering at the moment? It's uh, maybe good to start. We have now now uh, uh, with with us we have the money de Paris from France, uh, South mm -hmm. Africa mint, Lithuania mint. Royal Spanish Mint, Swiss Mint for Switzerland, and Münze Deutschland from Germany that are now now members, right. and and of course Mint of Finland is is yes. is, is, is providing the service services as, as well. So so really happy to get so many so many of the of the mints already on board, and and kind of the first thing really is to to kind of also get them developing the service, get, getting their ideas to the service mm -hmm. development and, and also their customers' ideas. So I, I think that's kind of the main main thing really to to have have kind of all the all the community involved, not only yeah. the users but also the also kind of the producers of the yeah. of the coins. So that's that's most most important really. But but then we then we get get uh, of course their in information from the coins and then we present now the new commemorative coins they are they are sell, selling and presenting to to uh, users so those mm -hmm. are are available in, in coiniverse also for purchases and and we have been discussing quite a lot what we could do together and, and there are pretty good plans i think that would help also the users kind of giving giving maybe certain benefits of, of the new releases of coins coins and, and some pre-ordering are are most likely possible in, in the in the future future yeah. coming so i i think on, only kind of the imagination is the limit really what, yeah. what, what there, there can can be and and, and as, as 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 i say we really really want to listen also the user base and, and are more than happy to hear thoughts that that the users have and try to try to get them get them to the service as as, as soon as, as it, it's possible 
Yeah, okay, brilliant. So you mentioned um, the, the development of the app and we're already on to the second version. Uh, and there's quite a few kind of social aspects to it, which is, you know, that's great. That's part of collecting. So, so what can you explain a bit more about this, the kind of the social aspects of the app and how people can kind of share their collections? Yeah, we, we like, like I said, we just, just launched it before Christmas and then we were like kind of, kind of first, first phase in, in, in that sense, but really experimenting and, 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 and now providing the, providing the possibility. But we're really kind of serious about security and, and com confidence for for and, and the privacy of the of the users. Yeah. So at, at the moment, at the moment, how we've done it so that if you want to, you're able to make your pro profile public for everyone to see. Okay. And after you've done that, you can actually share the collections that you want to one one by one. So nothing kind of goes goes public without your knowledge yeah. explicit, explicit will so you're in control of everything that you, you share really so starting with the profile profile and then with the collections that you that you that you share and and then we're just just about to launch also that you can follow follow the users and, and kind of get the information of what they're doing what if they're sharing new collections and what they're mm -hmm. liking and and kind of the idea really is to to kind of show show and get give also for the new collector ideas what they could collect and, and how what type of yeah. coins people are collecting and, and 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 kind of kind of enhancing the hobby in, in that way as, as as well. And there are there are kind of ideas maybe adding adding later at later stage discussions or or maybe even trading trading of the of the coin coins in, in the service. But yeah. those that is that is something I think it's really part of the social aspect as as, as well, but they yeah. are not yet not yet online, but but in the in the drawing board in any way. So that's Excellent. that's kind of, kind of and I've been really pleased how people have have kind of taken off off with the social side as, as well. So we have quite quite many collections already public, and it's it's growing double digit numbers and at the moment, and and they're really really nice to see what what people are are collecting and mm -hmm. and of course then we can kind of success success this this uh based on your own preferences and, and your own own collections also that maybe you should follow this user since yeah. you have the much same same type of interest and, and collections that you have yes and, yeah that's good kind of bringing people together like that yeah fantastic okay it sounds great so um so the react reaction to the app so far you'd say has been very positive yes Yes, uh, I'd say, and we studied studied user and, and keep on studying studying also also in in the future and and the recent recent uh, survey we did it was eighty five percent of the users was was telling that the app is supporting their hobby good or very very good so so yeah. I, I think we have kind of found some kind of sweet sweet spot in in, in that that sense sense so it's it's really really nice to nice to see that we can help help users to kind of start, start and, and, and enhance their, their collection. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, really, it's really great to see. Okay, that's brilliant. So um, just finally, um, can you tell us how, you know, obviously we can go to the app store or the, the Android store. Um, is there a website we can look at or anything else um, just to check out the app? Yeah, if, if, if you want to kind of get, get the first, first, first impressions of Coinverse.app, is the website that we carry right. so there's kind of kind of explaining what it is there's some blocks blocks explaining explaining what we're about who, who we are partnering with and then of course there's links to then the stores itself but really i i guess the best way is really just download the app and, and yeah the re registration is really easy you can do it by facebook or or your google account or 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 of course with the old-fashioned way with your password and <laughs> and and, and and so on. So it's it, but it is really easy. So I I really think the best way is just to down, download it from either Google Play or App Store and uh, have a look and play around with it and, and and see if it fits 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 your needs. Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Um, I'm sure we're all going to go and look at the the app straight away. Um, and if 
uh, any of us have any feedback, I'm sure we can, you know, I can feed that back to you as well. Yeah, uh, that would be great. From, from collectors. So yeah, thank you so much for your time and um, we'll speak again soon. Okay, thank you, Matt. All right, cheers, bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.